Hi, welcome to your regular Friday Helium Hotspot Vendors update. In today's update, we'll be discussing all Helium Hotspot vendors. Please stay tuned and I will be right back. Hey everyone, Crypto Layman here. Thank you very much for tuning back into the channel. And if you're new around here, welcome to our little corner. Now, if you haven't already, please come and join us on the Discord channel. We are holding our very first 5HNT giveaway on the 2nd of August 2021 as a thank you for supporting the channel and being part of the community. In order to join this giveaway, please find the link in the description and head over to the Layman's Corner. Once you arrive there, please make sure you check the giveaways check the ch check the giveaways ch <laughs> make sure <laughs> once you arrive there make sure you check the giveaways channel and you react to the post in order to enter the giveaway good luck to everyone now let's do some housekeeping as usual please don't take any of this as financial advice i'm not encouraging you to buy any of these items and i'm not a financial advisor so make sure that you do your own due diligence before you commit to anything please also make sure that you are fully aware of scammers below there are two types of scammers so ones that pretend to be me and try and pass you on a whatsapp number those are the very basic, very lazy scammers, but we ha also have a very efficient and very elaborate type of a scammer. And these scammers will come and randomly start talking about how Bitcoin is the best investment, etc. Then they will generate an entire comment thread with likes and comments on it from different accounts to try and endorse a particular crypto guru allegedly who can earn you a ton of money that is the more elaborate type of scam so please make sure you don't fall for those either if you see any anything like that please help me by reporting this to the youtube algorithm and let's try and weed these scammers out let's now jump straight into our first update and the first vendor is calchip connect now when i say update unfortunately i have to tell you there isn't one they have not posted anything at all on this wednesday gone so there is absolute radio silence from calchip connect because they haven't posted anything i still assume that they are still shipping the monkey batch i know some people are still waiting for the tracking details hopefully you will get your tracking details fairly soon i will of course update you as soon as there is any updates or any developments on this front the next vendor we're going to look at is Curlink for the light hotspots. From what I am aware of, Curlink were planning to start shipping. So as you can see here, Curlink posted an update on the 19th of July and stated that they were in the last stages of preparation and they were gearing up to start shipping the Curlink hotspots. Since the 19th of July, unfortunately, there hasn't been any further updates and we are still waiting to hear from Curlink. Now we look at the long-awaited Batch 13 from Bobcat. And I can confirm that Batch 13 contains units upper until order number 140,577 for US orders. And these orders were placed up to 12.34pm on the 25th of April 2021. The EU cutoff is 151,424 with orders including the ones placed up until 1600 hours on the 27th of April. Again, miners will ship by next Friday, so expect tracking shortly after that. I received my miner approximately a week ago now. That one was contained in batch 11, and I can confirm that when the batch was announced, the miner was shipped the following Friday and I also received the tracking details for that device on the following Friday. From then, in the United Kingdom, it took UPS four days to deliver the miner to my doorstep and that was it. If some of you are worried about customs duties, etc., I can certainly speak of the UK. People are having mixed experiences here. Some people have been asked to pay customs duty others have not been and i fall in the latter category i was not contacted by customs to pay anything at all so i am not sure how it works why some people are having to pay it and others aren't that remains a mystery now there is one more important thing about this update 
Bobcat are now saying that remaining orders that were placed prior to the 1st of May will be shipped by or before mid-August. Now let's talk about Nebra. I actually lack words to describe Nebra, to be honest. I thought that Nebra were improving when it came to their customer service, etc. My optimism has been shattered time and time again by this team. Just to give you a little bit of background as to what's been occurring in the Nebra unofficial Helium Discord channel, AJ Shaw has been popping on and off the Discord channel and has been persistently targeting people who are criticizing Nebra for not giving them updates. So he has been resorting to attacking people on a personal level and picking fights and arguments with people. I had a little tussle with him myself where I asked him to account for a post made by Distrelec, who are one of the distributors for Nebra. Let me just quickly show you what the issue was there. And this is the update that happened on the 8th of July. Distrelec were meant to receive 1,868 units. Unfortunately, a couple of days ago, Distrelec confirmed that they had not received the 1,000 units as they were expecting. Instead, they had only received 120 outdoor miners, which also had a certification issue. The FCC certification wasn't up to scratch. Robert from Distrelec came onto the Discord channel and called out Nebra's lie and stated that that wasn't the case and that Nebra had not in fact shipped them anything or they had not received any of those units just yet. I confronted Shaw with that statement and he completely denied me and told me that I should not open my mouth before doing my research. These were the messages, I don't know if you can see them. So here he says, why don't you do a couple of minutes of research before mouthing off? They received them in their warehouse and they haven't been booked in yet this is his reply to me it was rather rude and this is what i posted to him robert from distrelec basically had said i had to investigate this properly before i could reply to you all we have received a shipment of 120 outdoor miners unfortunately they're not yet certified so we're not yet able to deliver them unfortunately we have not yet received the 1000 indoor miners the tracking number was that they were given was related to the outdoor miners i.e the 120 that they got and they are now investigating the matter with Nebra. Later on, Robert called them back out again, and he said, please stop with sharing misinformation, and would you please contact your Distrelec contact person today? There is no feedback from you or John on any of our queries. And then he posts again an hour or so later, saying that, would it be possible to have some feedback about the certification issue with the outdoor miners, and also about the 1,000 indoor miners because they have not still received any further information about those and they're still missing. However, Nebra or AJ Shaw remained adamant that that wasn't the case and I hadn't done my research. The latest update here is now that people are being sent emails from Nebra about Batch 3 indoor miners where they're saying that Batch 3 is now likely to ship in August. So the 17,000 units that they promised that were going to ship by the end of this month, it seems completely unlikely and unrealistic. Some of the Batch 1 units are still missing and people are really complaining. If you go onto the unofficial Nebra Discord channel, you will find out that people are actually planning to sue Nebra for being such a stupid company. I had another run-in with them when I cancelled my order today and somebody called Jackie Moore replied to me and said that my order had been refunded completely. Now I checked my Amazon Pay account and nothing had been refunded there so I emailed her back saying look nothing's been refunded and i also raised a query with amazon pay in relation to that so i sent them an email through amazon pay which they closed almost immediately and replied to me well we have already told you that we've issued a refund if you have a problem take it up with amazon pay jackie gave me some stinking attitude saying that she had already processed it she can't help me anymore that's it and i was to contact amazon pay now that is extremely unprofessional and I think they need to get their shit straight. Now let's move on to our next vendor. So the next vendor we're going to look at is called Synchrobit and Synchrobit are saying that the devices that were stuck with the US Customs have now been released and they should have arrived in the warehouse today. Hopefully they will start shipping them out in the coming week. 
If you receive your tracking details from Synchrobit, please let me know. Synchrobit are also one of the only two companies that are currently accepting pre-orders for US and Canadian frequency devices. The EU and UK devices are currently sold out. So if you want to buy one of these devices, please make sure that you're fully aware that you're not exactly dealing with the best of companies. They have an unnecessarily complicated shipping system. So everything produced in China ships to Romania, to their warehouse, and from there it's shipped out to several other distributors, such as SP North America, etc. And then those items are shipped further to customers. So extremely long-winded process. I think they're doing really well when it comes to shipping these items out, but because there is such a long-winded shipping chain involved, these units are taking absolutely ages to get to those customers. The EU fulfillments are currently still on track. They are shipping units out, and they haven't posted an update since the 20th of July. Once again, please make sure that you do your own research and make sure that you're fully aware that it could take up to five to six months for you to to get that device now that's it in terms of Synchrobit. let's move on to the next vendor and see what long ap are doing now i can tell you what long ap are doing namely not much at all so there hasn't been any updates since the 20th of july when they said they were, they were now focusing on the long ap pro and the long ap light so that's it that's where we stand nothing else has developed since unfortunately there is not much else i can say so stay tuned for more updates let's move on to SenseCap now and there is a few things that I need to discuss with you when it comes to SenseCap. As you know SenseCap are part of Seed Studios which is a very well established IoT company and they have the infrastructure in place to deal with demand and supply etc. So first of all the update that they have published today has been that for those who actually bought a SenseCap M1 miner in the initial sale there has been an OTA update so OTA means over the air the latest firmware will be updated automatically so you don't need to do anything if you have one of those devices well, secondly SenseCap are saying that they have some exciting news to share that they are going to produce and ship more than 10,000 devices in the next week some batches will go to their partners more distributors will be updated next week as well while some batches will be sold on the seed online store so if you want to go and purchase a SenseCap miner, you can go onto this website link. I will place that link in the video description below. As of the 25th at 10 a.m. GMT plus 8, they're going to release 100 pieces of US frequency versions as the first trial that they are going to sell from their own website. The aim for this exercise is going to be to test their limits and their capabilities in coping with the traffic and the pressure during the sale so they can try and improve the infrastructure. After that initial experiment, they are going to keep releasing further 100 piece batches to improve the performance of these sales in the future. So that is something to look forward to. If you're looking to purchase one of those devices, please make sure that you head over to the SenseCap website in the next two days and you try your luck. Let me know how you get on and I would really appreciate that. So the next vendor I want to talk about is the Pisces Miner and I can confirm that the Pisces Miner have stated that they are getting ready ahead of their approval next week from the Helium Oversight Committee and they will be announcing their first sale hopefully following that outcome of that meeting. The website is still down, it is still under construction. I will let you know when it comes live and I will give you more information as when they release that information away. So make sure once again that you're subscribed to the channel and you hit that bell icon to get the latest updates as to what's occurring in the Helium Hotspot Manufacturers space. So the next vendors are going to be discussed as a collective. So those will include Lynx.Heltech, Browan and Feinstra. When it comes to Lynx.Heltech, Browan, these miners are still waiting and pending the approval from the Helium Oversight Committee, which is being held on the 28th of July this coming week. So hopefully we'll have more developing news after that meeting has taken place and after they have received their approvals. However, when it comes to Feinstra, they have stated that they are going to make an announcement very soon in terms of their sales, etc. They haven't specified anything further. They're holding back when it comes to giving away information and the only thing they said in a reply email to me was that they were planning to release a post or a detailed update concerning the sale of their units in the next week or the next few days so that is it 
in terms of what's occurring in the helium hotspot mining space just to remind you that i'm holding a free giveaway where i'm giving away five helium tokens to one lucky winner on discord if you would like to take part in that giveaway please join us on the layman's corner discord channel the link for that channel can be found in the video description below please come and join us once you have joined the server please head over to the giveaways channel and react to the post for the giveaway if you are already part of the server and you have not yet entered the giveaway please make sure you check the giveaways channel thank you very much for tuning in i hope this information was helpful look after yourselves and i'll speak to you soon